Hello everybody, my name is Infinity, and if you don't know, I am the face and the voice behind all the content under Infinity Crafting Co. So anytime you see that name across the web, it is I. So, today I am here again to bring you guys Vlogmas Day 13. Again, it's been almost two weeks. Where has this month gone? <laughs> Today's video isn't going to be a really long one. I just wanted to do some, like, hodgepodge announcements. Um... First of all, you know, I know my grandma is going to watch this video and the next time she comments about my eyes bouncing away from the lens, I'm going to bring her on the show. So, <laughs> alright, now that that part is over, I want to talk to you guys about um, a bunch of stuff. So, first of all, I noticed that I have hit 939 subscribers and I, I was just taken aback. I am so happy about that result. Um, welcome aboard everybody. I realize I have a lot of new faces in the crowd. I hope you guys will enjoy the rest of my content past August and, you know, continue to stick around and learn with me. I, I am, oh my gosh. And then for everybody who's been around for a while, thank you so much for sticking, sticking it out with me as I've been figuring things out and, you know, getting my life together and <laughs> you guys continue to enjoy my content. I just, I appreciate you guys so much. So that's that that that's a good starting point I think that it's just made my week I think. So all right, crafty stuff. I want to talk about zippers. So if you guys don't know, I do occasionally make projects that are not knit or crochet and I, you know, incorporate a little bit of sewing. And zippers are just nice commodities to have in your craft room. I went on um AliExpress, AliExpress, whatever. I used to shop there a lot. And I bought zippers. Now, when I bought them, I read the description carefully. It said 30 centimeters. The option I selected was 30 centimeters. And I know 30 centimeters is the length of a ruler, which is one foot, or approximately 11.8 inches. So I'm like, okay, cool. That should be good enough for my dress. So when I ordered them about a month ago almost, I was happy. But I got them in the mail, what, yesterday? The other day? I got them in the mail Tuesday. So when I got them, I got these. And I actually got them in an assortment of colors. And these colors are so fun. They are so fun. But when I matched it up against my dress, I'm like, oh, I'm missing some, some length here. And so I took a tape measure to them. And these are only 10 inches. And I was, I was a little miffed because I'm like, okay, I went back and checked my order and whatnot, and I just let the seller know that they sent me the wrong size. So, um, yeah, I, I'm keeping them because I'm sure I'll probably come up with a project bag or something to make, and or an accessory or some other garment, and I'm going to want a zipper for it. So at least I have like 10 zippers that I can use, 10-inch zippers that I can use for that. So it wasn't a total bust. But... It still wasn't what I needed, and then when I remeasured my dress, I realized that some of the fabric had stretched, so I needed more like a 14-inch zipper. So I went about searching the World Wide Web for zippers, and I came across this store. Um, it's called Zipper Express, and I guess their new store. Um, I don't know. I'd never seen them around before, but they had such a pretty assortment of zippers, and I was like, okay, I'm going to try this out. So I bought the Rainbow Variety Pack, and it ended up being like ten forty nine. It's like free shipping in the U.S. I was like, okay, cool. It doesn't hurt to try, I suppose. So this came in the mail today, and I totally forgot that I'd ordered them. And the shipping, it was only two days. I ordered it like at 10 o'clock on Tuesday, and it's Thursday, 1 o'clock Thursday when our mail person ran. What do you know? I got all my zippers. And I don't remember how many zippers were in the pack, but I guess I could count them. Let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve zippers. Come on. Twelve zippers for ten fifty. And then they're nice and sturdy actually. As I did unzip one and zip it back up. They are very sturdy and well made. So I was thoroughly impressed. And I was so shocked to find a store that was like completely dedicated to zippers, like I don't know, it's really uncommon to me, I guess maybe because I don't sew, shop for sewing stuff that often, but I was just really excited to come across that. So anytime I need zippers in the future, I'm going to go through them because they're accurate and they're fast 
and I just I love it so much and the communication is awesome they sent me like four emails between Tuesday and now just to let me know where my order was I, I love it so that that's cool um I also found well I didn't find, it wasn't lost I just finally took the time to get my project binder my beloved off my shelf and I was going through it because um I am planning on recording a tutorial soon a little bit more on that coming up but I wanted to find the pattern for it and I found it <laughs> I found it in here I also found the pattern for that shawl that I was looking to release in November and then I was able to file away my airway shawl pattern that I kind of written out and usually when I write patterns I write out like the first uh, especially if it's a repetitive pattern I write out the first like three or four five maybe rows and then I know from there I can continue on and then I go about writing my pattern typing it up and publishing it so that brings me to my next point I at 2 30 I know I released the post but I stayed up to like four <laughs> four something in the morning finalizing my airway shawl pattern and I was able to release it early this morning before I went to bed and I know that is late but hey um, I don't have anywhere to go so <laughs> I, I am so excited to announce that release I absolutely love that pattern and I will be doing a video tutorial on it in the coming weeks maybe September maybe later in October we shall see where it will fall in the lineup but I am so excited about releasing that I haven't it. it's been a while since I last released a crochet pattern actually yeah because I think the last one or two that I released were knitting patterns so I am I am thoroughly happy to finally be catering to my crochet crowd and with that pattern and I may eventually release it for free I don't know yet but I'm just excited about their initial release and then like I said I'm planning the project tutorial behind that so I'm definitely looking forward to it oh my gosh so I'll be working on it um over the next like I said over the next coming weeks and hopefully within the next month or so I'll have it up and it's gonna be a fun time so stay tuned if you're new here don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that video um the pattern is available up in my Etsy store right now I I want to make I've been wanting to make one in gray for the last several weeks and I've been buried alive in my scrunchies which reminds me of another thing reminds me of another thing but I've been buried alive in my scrunchies and so I did I decided to not but I think when I do my tutorial I'm gonna work in this shade of gray that I um, have been having my eye on for a minute I'm so looking forward to doing that tutorial it's gonna be so much fun anyway um, scrunchies I just finished sewing in all the ends on my warm colored scrunchies so now I am fully stocked and I'll probably end up popping a picture or something to the side here but <laughs> I am done with those scrunchies for now I am so glad to be done with them don't get me wrong I love them they're fun they're easy to make but once you've uh, made a certain amount of them within a short time frame it's time to take a break so I am just going to work on stripping up my bands so I can bind them together and I'm going to take pictures of the monochromes. I will be releasing those soon. Um, it won't be a new posting, it'll just be an addition to the um, existing post, but I will be releasing the monochrome colored scrunchies soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, you know what? I found this patch. I found the patch that I had crocheted way, 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 way back in 2018 when I started my channel. Um, so as you guys know, I am a coffee member, but I, I am a coffee gold member. So I'm part of their gold membership thing. And way back when I bought those gold skeins, I can't line my finger up with that. I bought those gold skeins back there so I can make a blanket um, out of this patch. So I'm going to make a gold blanket with a little coffee cup and the heart in it. And I just look forward to it so much. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. I've been wanting to get this done, but like when I, again, bought the yarn and was doing all that, I was super busy and load it down or whatever and I just couldn't think about starting another project at that point so now that I have the opportunity I am going to get cracking on it as well as continue to work on my dress hopefully Michael oops hopefully Michaels gets that yarn back in stock soon because I don't know that that one skein is gonna be enough for the skirt of this dress and I just 
and then I have to do the sleeves and all that extra fun stuff so I, I hope they come back in stock soon <laughs> and when they do I'm probably gonna buy most of them because you can never find I swear you can never find the yarn and then it's like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and like I said this year um, I guess production has been considerably slower so you're really gonna be out of luck and it's just it's a mess but anyway that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you're on Instagram, don't forget to leave me a heart and don't forget to follow because again, I will be back tomorrow with more vloggist fun. And until tomorrow, happy making.